Hey guys and welcome back to episode 7 now of season number 3 of the 521 Grimsby to Glory. Moving with real pace this year, already in January and we are on the 7th episode. We'll soon be on that first one again as we have the best month of all. We're not going to get through it all, I don't think I started on showing you a month. I should go back into that to try and cut down on time of this episode. I also have 5 games today, hopefully that is. Hopefully we will play Peterborough first in the cup. Uh, Birmingham's going to be simmed. Then Norwich is going to be played. It's always a grudge match against them. Brentford, hopefully the same. Get played or maybe sim it. And Reading, I do want to get played definitely. So we might have to carry that onto the next episode. As of course, the elephant in the room is January. And of course, we've got to address the elephant, which is form for us. So we're going to get back on winning ways. As the first comment in the press conference, Mike Mike says, how are you going to solve the holes in the net issue and more goals in the net issue? That is exactly what we need to do today. I think it's definitely going to be signings going on. Hopefully get the big boys in today or maybe save them until January or uh, deadline day. But I don't have a clue when. Hopefully that solves a bit of an issue. As we've got a comment here from It's Kears. Hopefully I've said that uh, right. Oh, it's Kier. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Sorry about that. As we, um, he asks what I think the budget will be in the higher leagues. I think for Grimsby, because it's still a small club, I'd take 10 million if we got to the Premier. If we stay in the Championship, of course, we've got loads of money this year because of uh, not spending any, hardly any, last year. So I'd say about... Six or seven million if we're in this league. And that is all the questions for this episode. So only two in this press conference. Of course, if you want to get a comment in the video and get your name out there, please do comment it down below. As we have Peterborough up first. We struggled against these earlier on in the season. And here is the team we are going to play for the Peterborough game. As you can see, changed because it's the cup. And with us being decent in the league, but then again close to the uh, top half, I am going to go with the rotated side to save... Players, with McEwen in goal, he is going to be our cup uh, goalkeeper. Nevertheless, with Christie still at right back, Fisher, Gregerson and Jackson as my back four. Three changes there, with Brick getting his first start. Only just come out of the academy, but we want to put the youth through. With McEachran in the middle and Pope, another youth player. Sorescu, Patterson's going to start because Connolly's actually playing in the league at the moment. With Callum or Chris Long up front, I forget which one he is. As, of course, I'm playing him because Garcia is uh, fully fit, but he's not going to play this competition. And Edmonton's tired. And I do love the graphics of uh, this competition, as you can see. Our team right there. Three youth players in it. Or regens, because Fisher is, of course, not our youth player. As Peterborough, they have Goliath in net. Joe Ward, Delahoz, Kent and Beavers. Blake Tracy, don't tell me they've gone to a five-back. These weren't five-back before, as yet. They've resorted to it. Reed Jones and Sammy Smodix in cam with Ricky J. Joad and Mo Iser starting up front. So they've got more strikers in, but then more defenders. These have definitely been watching us in the latter month. And of course, seeing how we've had a bit of a wobble against the five bat formations where we just can't break them through. Usually free scoring, but not at the moment as Iser tries to cut in front of Christie. Christie trying to get that tackle in and does actually. No, it isn't Christie. It's the. Um, Man in the middle, Fisher. I got mistaken as Pope. Can he get a ball across? It's looking for Patterson. Poor one. And Ricky J. Jones was on a chase there with Gregerson. It's going to go straight through to Mackie K. McEwen. As we're going to whack that forward to McEachran, the other Mc. As we give it into Patterson now. And Patterson doesn't look like he has to rescue at this side. But he's got long through the middle. Playing for his place back in the squad a bit is Chris Long, of course. A really decent striker for his last season, but not found his feet in the championship. But then again, haven't really given him the chance as Ricky J. Jones has definitely taken the chance to play at a higher level. Youngster himself as Sorescu has the ball. Gives it into Patterson. He's got a ball on here to Long. He's got a beat off De La Hoz and Khan. And Ward with the ball out wide here. The right back. He played against us in the league, so he's not a rotational body. As he's gone on to Reed, but it's a great tackle. Cyrus Christius. Turning into the Luke Hendry, the new one, because he's playing so consistently out right back with the ball over to Sorescu, who stayed on side. It's Dayan Sorescu on the angle to shoot and a good save from the rotational keeper. And that last shot was really the first test of any keeper in this game and test on goal because, of course, we can't get past their back five and our back four is too strong for them, I'd say. As here's a ball up to Chris Long. Can he try and be the difference maker? It looks to be us at the moment, if anyone, as we have won a corner before half time. Make this count, boys. It's Patterson to whip it in. Christie, and it's out. And uh, passing it out from the back. There we go. Ward with the pass. They've got a player injured, but what a dull first half of football. The FA Cup. It's supposed to be magic, in it? We're playing against the team that were in our league, so it's not really going to be an upset or a... Um, yeah, an upset either way. And 
it's not been an entertaining game. Two B teams, I'd say, just scrapping here in this competition. As Rescue does have a run. He's a first teamer who is really falling down in my regards. Max Wright needs to get into that right midfield position as quick as possible because it's honestly not just guaranteed to Rescue. 76 rated, but only two goals in the championship. And he's a Premier League quality player as Patterson has a ball down the line. Can't get it off and we can't keep it. And it's Ricky J. Jones who tries to cut inside, does successfully. It's a great cutback and a great finish. What a hit from the 19-year-old. He told me to sign him last year. Of course, he's in the league above, so it would have been hard for me. And now in this league, he's just scoring for fun against us. And yes, I'm, I'm not speaking about that uh, celebration. I'm honestly not. It's the FA Cup. Grow up. You're not even staying in the league at this point, as it's a great hit into the top corner. I honestly expect them to stay in the league if they score more goals than that. As James McEwen again with a bit of disappointment in that. And Cyrus Christie out wide to Dayan Sorescu again. Right, here's a chance. We've got Patterson. We need a goal back quick. It's through the middle to Chris Long. I knew we were making that run. And is it going to be instantly level? It is. We're going to get the ball. We're not doing any fancy celebrations in the FA Cup. You can shove it. As we have shoved the ball into the back of the net. Trying to solve that in the back of the net problem that we addressed in the conference. As it's Chris Long. His first goal in ages. And I would not like a uh, replay or a bit of extra time in this game. I don't know which it will be. I don't know if it's took COVID on as FIFA. Because if, of course, COVID is in play, it would be extra time. But at the moment, doesn't look like it. Because Moiza has got Posh back in front. Yep, I'll let you know the next time we can keep a lead. Cheers, as it's three goals straight after one another. And it's not even a bubble-double. It's a triple Trouble going through a mega slump at the moment as Ricky J. Jones was almost there. Fishers gave it to him and McEwen has to make a decent save. Boys, are we trying to lose this game or what? Because I want to actually do decent in a cup competition anytime soon. The FA Cup being knocked out in the first round each time and it looks like, again, maybe a bit harsh on you players. Look, oh my days, I've gone attacking. We've got no players at the back. It's over the top to Isa and he's missed. Right, boys. It's Kano actually off the bench, so we have a chance to try and hopefully get another goal now. What a miss, as oh, he could have another chance though. It's Jade Jones on it. Great tackle though from Josh McEachern fitting in the defence. As it's gone up to Raheem Harper, on to Chrissy Long. I think he's really running low on the tank though, and I'm not going to risk another striker. Yes, it might knock us out, but I've got Max Wright on instead, who shoots. Three minutes of added time. It's Harper. I'd take a replay at this, this point as Gregerson. Oh, and he's off the post. That's going to be it. No FA Cup run once again. As yes, it looks like Posh are going to knock us out. It's Kanu through on goal to wrap it up. I mean, I say this every year. It's not my priority this season. Probably more than ever because, of course, we want to stay in this league or we either want to push up to the league above. We're in limbo at the moment, so could do without a cup. But then again, I would prefer to win it, of course. Hate losing games of football. That's the mentality the players should have. But doesn't seem to have at the moment as McEwen's had a poor game, hasn't he? He's getting on to the last stage of his career, is Maka. So, Peterborough 3, Grimsby 1. And that is the game over. No shocks, no nothing, no magic of the FA Cup. It's just a boring game where Ricky J. Jones and Mo Iser strike the difference. With Carno late on as well, don't forget that. As it's on to Birmingham next, but of course, eight messages. It's transfer time. We'll have to probably get offers in, though, if we want to make a huge, like, rating-wise or potential-wise signing because we don't have much money. i have got a lot of players departing as well. We've got the likes of Tilly going to Glela Babucci. I said that so wrong. Boateng going, so we've got a player coming in on a pre-contract, which is Gattuso Traore. And, of course, scout reports. And so, here we go into the market. Is there going to be a bid here for a player? Looks like there is. Oh, no, it's a terminated contract. Right, I don't care. Youth players can come and go. If they're not the one, um, I'd probably not have them. And you can tell they're not the one because they haven't signed on into the first team yet. So, they can't be that important as, of course, transfer time is important. Got to get the right deals. We've got a lot of players on here. High-rated ones as well. We need to try and find the uh, perfect signing. And there's one. Oh, I don't know whether to go for him or not. For Mana Quizair, I think I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Do you think I should stick with Connolly and Patterson as rotational or go in for this guy? 20-year-old, 70 rated. A bag of potential on this guy from Munching Gladback, I think. Before his uh, 
sudden release, of course, because he's a free agent. We've also got the main guy, William Harper, 1975 rated, but he's going to cost us 20 million. Can't see us signing him anytime soon, but of course, you told me to look at the academy player from episode one and I delivered. And speaking of delivery, we have the new boy coming into the team straight away. Well, not into the team, but onto the bench for this next game against Birmingham City, which we need to try and win. One more change, which is the keeper. And look, there he is, Traore. Looks like he's a real good potential player. 22 or 21 year old. Of course, can grow to be a good backup, I think. Maybe like 75 rated if we get up the leagues. Ah, Schubert's in the net for this next one. Christie, although tired, still got faith in him. Pollock, Gregerson and Doig at left. Back with Martin, Martins, Harper and Sorescu in the midfield with Connolly and Camp. And Garcia up front. Currently almost at that 70 rating as well, which is fantastico. Very, very pleasing that he is living up to a bit of potential that I definitely think he has. And this is going to be a simulated one as well. So we uh, are going to make a transfer after this game, I think, as Ben Jackson's coming with a message. I'll read it after this game, mate. St. Andrews' trip is more important as can we get three points. Three needed points with the form we are on. And it's going to be a draw. Hogan with a goal and Gregerson. Okay, so a bit of potential in that centre-back. Still searching for that win, though, which we haven't had in a while. Going to have to move on to some signings, I think. So we've got just under 2 million. Let's get by in. As it's actually getting hard to pick a squad, look at this. Patterson sitting out for the next game as I have built the team I have in mind for it. I've had to move Harper down to CDM again or just in front of it. Don't want to go too defensive like the comments told me. But then again, he has trained to be a CDM. Forgot to take him off of that. As I've done the uh, developments as well, just off screen. As it's a cover right back, I feel, which is the next most important thing. And George Marsh looks like a great one. Can play in midfield as well. Released from Tottenham. Yes, he's a free agent. But can be a good, reliable second choice. I hope. Anyway, as we need uh, some squad depth in the ranks right now. And hopefully this can grant us it. Sporadic is going to want rotation. Yes, that was a stupid thing from me. I should have gone straight for that. Yeah, release from Tottenham. Of course, not as good as the other ones. I'd say, like, White, that midfielder, Harvey White. It looks great. So, yeah, he's going to take a low wage. Ten appearances, which I don't think he's going to get in half a season. And we will take him. George Marsh joins the Mariners. And this game's definitely going to be played. Norwich City, of course, Martin's home. We had a really good uh, travel to their place, I think it was. Or they may have come to us. But yeah, really good game against them last time when we were neck and neck. Of course, they've took the advantage now. They've soared up that league. I think they're in the playoffs. We'll see when we get to the uh, date if we don't get any transfers before that, which I'm hoping, you know. I don't like to sell players, but sometimes I just hope someone comes in with a bid, you know, to try and surprise me. Is this, this going to be one? No, it's a Fisher loan, though. Bournemouth want Fisher. Oh, and Cazera has been approached. And there's always other players I think I could get instead of him as... That is a really good thing to come in. And of course, I did the uh, one-year trick that I usually do. The ninth and Norwich. But I don't get what's up with Pollock. He's tired. He's the captain. And he's on very uh, bad morale. I've just had to speak to him positively to up it to one happy. Because it was that negative. So you're going to sit out and get your head right. I hope he hasn't got his head on another move. As Schubert's going to be in there. Christie, Bath, Gregerson and Doig across the back five with... Gre uh, Gregerson? Martin... Barrero, Martins, Harper and Sorescu on the right midfield with Connolly supporting Garcia. A lot of discontent in this team. Connolly, Gregerson and Doig. Three players I'm actually keen on at the moment, so I just don't understand it. God, everyone's screaming yellows. We're at Carrow Road. I know that for a fact as we are playing against the yellows. Got a good result against them last time. Need to do the same. There he is, Danny Bath. Not showed you this graphic in a while, have I? A big stadium. Everyone's shaking the hands as the Canaries are as follows. Krull, Byram, Essas, Bashiri and Hantley. Don't tell me it's five at the back. Because Hantley usually don't play right back, does it? Leitner, Sorensen and Sanani in the midfield with Todd Cantwell out there. So yes, it isn't five at the back. With Dowell supporting Adam Ida. That is Kieran Dowell as well. Decent player. So... Another test against the birds in a stadium. I don't really mind Norwich City Stadium, Carrow Road. It looks very, very nice on FIFA. So, I do want to spoil the result, though, and I'm not going to favour the fans. Just the stadium structure as Barreiro has the ball. Gives it into Harper. Going to try and turn out to Barreiro in the middle. Get a good bit of play going here. Oh, just one off pass. And Leitner with the ball through to Adam Ida. Good tackle. Gregerson, big slide. Oh, he's missed it. Uh-oh, he's missed it. So, Leitner on the ball here. It's a bit of an off-tackle, 
from Gregerson, but we are holding our own so far. Norwich City going back, but dominating possession. Really do need a win as well, just to kind of relieve pressure on me a bit. I think, yes, I've got them promoted twice in a row, but if this was us as a comfortable championship team and we're on the form that we are on, I'd probably be up for the sack as we've got the ball into Barreiro as well. Barreiro onto Garcia. It could be a good shot here though as Krull saves. Can it be though what's happened all season and just be Raul Garcia scoring more headers than goals with his feet as it is Blotto into Barreiro onto Connolly. Danny Bath with the ball. Find Harper. It's not gone to him first time but it's gone to Barreiro. Oh, and it's missed again. So close. As Kieran Dahl has a free kick here as well. 25 minutes in for the Canaries. Good header away, but of course Connolly's not first to it. As Dowell has the ball. Great tackle from Dejan Sorescu onto Martin. And needs to get that in field. He does do quite convincingly as Connolly just can't find Garcia. And Todd Cantwell on a run here. Oh, it's a terrible challenge, Christy. That's his downfall. Great player. Gives penalties away, but to say we've had a lot, and I mean a lot of penalties against us, that is the only one I would say which is a clear, crystal clear penalty. It's harsh against Pollock and Bath in the last episode, but that's definitely one as Norwich City have a chance to give us yet another L for now, as they're going to step up. Schubert against Ida, and he's, he's saved quite a few, that keeper. We live another day, and the best thing about that penalty was there was no red card at the end of it, as Barreiro going to charge forward, still can't get out of his half. And Barreiro on the ball again, gives it into Josh Martin, now on the road to Connolly. As he gives it around to Garcia. Right, we've got runners all over the place. There we go, Barreiro. He's had a chance that he's missed already in this game, but he's sweating it to Connolly. Little Connolly as he finally scores. You've played, I can't even say his name that he's that quick into the box as Michael gets us a lead for once. There we go, slide on the knees. You deserve it, mate. Got a lot of competition ahead of you, Patterson. I mean, Harper plays cam sometimes, Martin slots in there, but he's took his chance perfectly. The youth player who I'm most proud about at the moment, yes, I've got even Pope at the club, who's almost 70 rated, but Connolly's de uh, definitely the best on form. So here's Garcia as well. Could we even make it more as he looks to chip it over? Rocky Bashiri, I thought it was a handball. Sneaking suspicion as we've got a decent free kick position. I mean, we've only got 65 free kick accuracy with... Uh, with old Sorescu here, going to hit a bit of power on it. Just get a little bit of dip over the wall, and it's wide. Getting better with them. Nice half time. We have a lead for the first time in ages. I mean, Norwich was the, uh, I think, the last team we beat in this league. I'm unsure at the moment, but it's a great goal to give us it as well. Conley with a sweaty. I just love them sometimes, so we need to try and hold on to it. As it's Martin on the ball now. Cuts inside. Gives a bit of a dodgy one across, but now Bath up to Harper. Harper on the overlap is Christie. Right, so rescue. We get ready to make a move as he doesn't. He's going to have to give it for Connolly on the stretch who does get there. So rescue finally. He's on form with the ball as he puts into Garcia. Who just can't be on form with his head. And it's Josh Martin on the ball again here against his old team. He always seems to pull it out of the bag against his old team because he does go missing a couple of times in the season. Why ain't so rescue going for that? As it's going to fall for Harper instead. Back heels it to Dayan, who's going to try and charge through this gap. Right, Dayan, I want to see something promising from you. And someone nips straight in to get it. Still a decent header from Gregerson to get straight back in the attack. Garcia over the top here. Martin on the first time strike. And it's just wide of Krull's net. And Todd Cantwell on the ball. Norwich, we've still got to be careful at the back. You know, no more penalties. We've avoided that scare already in this game. As Danny Bath makes a tackle. But it falls straight back to Cantwell. Oh, that's disappointment at its finest. Dominated the game apart from their penalty. And Norwich straight back in it for the man who I think should be in the Prem, Todd Cantwell. Definitely too good for the championship. It's it's just, it's it's good play for me. It's really good experience to sit on the back of Christie as Bath tries to make a tackle. Just make that burst away from him last minute. And put it past Schubert to make it level. And I think it's going to be another game where we don't take the three points we desperately deserve. However, Martin... Do it against your old club. I beg. As he's cut inside there. He's got shoved over a little bit. Nothing given for it. We've got to put it in in this last 15 minutes. I don't want another draw. 10 minutes left. As Huddersfield's drawing. Okay. That's bad for us. Because they're going to overtake us in the league. Cisse Toure. And his merry bunch. As Ida. Oh, he's passed it to Dowlu. has got around Gregerson easily. He's going to slot it in. And he's missed the target. 
What a let off for the Mariners right there. And I also slid in with Gregerson. It's a good job I did not connect there. I just thought he was going to easily score and I had to take him down. So that's a couple of good passes straight through, you know. And we could just go and score on the counter. Only a couple of minutes left in this game with Pope in the middle. Long on the ball and Rev, come on, he tangled his legs. Get the pressure on. Get the pressure on, boys. I want you all chasing down that ball. If we're going to bottle it, so be it. I want three points, not one as Ida does have the ball. We could be bottling it. I've sent everyone forward too quick as Doig chasing his man down. And what a grand tackle. Still falls to Sorensen, though. And we have to get rid of it. Doig with the tackle. Falls back to him. Slid in. And oh, it was vital. Really vital. I think the referee's going to blow his whistle, though, before we can get on the attack. And yes, it has happened. It is Norwich City 1, Grimsby Town 1. The shares are spoiled at Carrow Road, in which looked like a very pessimistic start. Penalty given away. Then really got on top and got the goal and a lot of chance at the start of the second. But we come away with only one point. But then, again, we've probably got to look at the bright side right now. So we play Brentford, who are on the same amount of points as us, just above us. Where are we... Um, in terms of points close to relegation and, of course, the playoffs. I want to see how close we are to them. As relegation-wise, 24 points where we're on 39. We should be clear of that, you know. 15 points in front is very good. And playoffs, 52. Very far off them. We are smack bang. Well, one position off, but basically level on smack bang in the middle of the league and the middle of the relegation zone and playoffs. It's limbo. But actually, one thing that isn't limbo is... It's the fact we're not picking up results as we are going to simulate Brentford. I want to see what happens in the transfer market, even though we are losing games. I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those games that shifts the league about a bit, as I think the next player we've got to go for is a centre-back. Bath needs someone in front of him with pace, can be a good backup. Possibly Pollock or Nightingale to go, or even Gregerson himself, because I like him, but I'm not the biggest fan. With Schubert in the goal, Christy, Bath, Gregerson, Doig, Martin, Martins, Harper and Sorescu, Connolly and Garcia back in the team for this game. I also aren't afraid of selling Jamie Patterson. He's been, yes, I think our top assister, but still terrible in my books for uh, being in this team, as this is only four at the back formation. Please get a result, please, please. And yes, we've won a game. We've won a game of football. So rescue with a goal and Raul Garcia. Oh, the lords have shined down on us. Come on. Come on, we finally won a game. And that was a good one to win as well. Mid-table battle, as I think that warrants a player being signed. If we do have money, of course. Gone up to 11th. Big improvement. Also, in the meantime, uh, Max Wright has asked for a new contract. You can see he's, he's put a transfer request in. The Grimsby through and through player wants out of the club. I don't know why. I said I forgot to get around to his contract. I must have just discarded the letter about it. And I don't want you to move. Contract negotiation. He doesn't. He's, he's submitted a transfer request. Oh, Max Wright could be on his way out of Grimsby. I don't want that to happen. Don't know what to do. I don't know what to do at the moment about that. As that is one thing I didn't want to happen. At least... We've got to look on the positive side this season. It brings a position into light, which we must improve. Getting a backup right midfielder in. So suggest some of them. Of course, if Max Wright goes, because I'd still kind of want to keep him here. As are we going to get an offer in, please? Someone come and try and buy one of us players. I don't care who. I just want to see uh, who can be signed away from us and make this bloody transfer we know a bit more interesting. One incoming and, yeah, a couple of outgoings at the start, but they were already arranged. So one bit of business in 25 days isn't good. As is this one, Max Wright. Victoria Guimaraes. It's going to be a below his... Oh, it's actually above his evaluation. And seeing as the Grimsby boy wants out, I'm not going to stand in his way. It's a really sour ending to his career. I hope... I hope this doesn't happen in real life. And I am really upset that it's happened in this career. The youth player, who of course we've played since he was 19, from 59 rated, is going to depart the club. At least he's going to another team in black and white. Oh, that hurts. See you later, Max Wright. My name sharer as well as he was really good. Last season at the end of the first uh, season in League 2. But, got to move on. He wasn't playing as well as Reading are up next. I think I'm not going to play this as well as Pope's got an offer in for him. Rio Ave. Okay. This is the bigger, uh, biggest offer we've got in for Brandon Pope. Now 70 rated. I'm going to negotiate it. 
16 year old, 70 rated, the board is getting onto me for not making money. It's a very hard one. Yes, I know. You guys probably don't want me to sell him, but I've got to kind of listen to the board as well. But then again, my heart. I am not taking less than 10 million for this guy. They're going to say no, but it's the offer that stands. And yes, just, just go away now. If you think I'm honestly going to negotiate with half of my um, minimum price tag for a player, you're bewildered. You're bewildered. The board are getting onto me every 24, 7, 365. Oh, you've got to make 13 grand or 13 million. No, I don't. I can make more in the future from him. And yeah, we're going to get another offer before Reading. I don't know. Monthly scout reports. I think that might be it. As yes, I'm going to save Reading till the next episode. And of course, deadline day, which I am definitely... Mark my words, definitely going to spend a bit of money, hopefully, if we can get a good player in. So, get suggesting some of them as, oh, that's a good uh, youth player. Yeah, get suggesting some. Comment down below which position you think I should strength if you don't have a signing in mind. Because, of course, I will get my scouts out to look at a certain position. So, I'm going to look at the academy as well at the end of this episode. See if there's any um, standout stars. The Stastre doesn't look that bad. It's not a disaster. Eh? As yet, yeah, I'm going to end the episode on that pun. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the notification bell as well so you do not miss the future transfer window, seasons, and episode. As I will see you guys all in the next one. Spot's been great at the moment. And can we keep it up? It's down to you guys. In a bit. Peace. <laughs>